Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 16 on page 53. Find constants a and b such that the function f of x equals to negative x if x is in between negative 3 and negative 2 inclusive, ax squared plus b if x is in between negative 2 and 0 exclusive, and 6 if x equals to 0 is continuous for x in between negative 3 and 0 inclusive. Step 1. If you think about continuity, there are three basic steps. And the limit must exist. And if the limit does exist, that means there's a left limit and there's a right limit and they're the same. So the first step is I'm focusing on negative 2. x equal to negative 2. So I'm looking at the left limit, x or the limit as x is approaching to negative 2 from the negative side. And I'm comparing this to the limit of f of x as x is approaching to negative 2 from the positive side. This must be the same if the function is continuous. So this implies that on the left hand side, you take the limit as x is approaching to negative 2 from the negative side. Now because it's on the left hand side, this is the function that you're focusing on. It's going to be negative x. Now likewise, if you look at the right hand side as the limit is approaching to 2 from the positive side, this means it's going to be the second piece of the piecewise function. So a x squared plus b, I'm going to put brackets around that. Now if you keep going, again, you go back to basic concepts behind limits. Step one, you're going to plug in the actual number. So x is approaching to negative 2. I plug it in. It's going to be negative times negative 2. On the right-hand side, again, I'm going to plug in the actual number, and it's negative 2. I forgot the negative. That's my mistake. And I plug it in. So a times negative 2 square plus b. Now, if you collect like terms, this is going to be 2, which equals to 4a plus b. I'm going to come back to this uh, in a moment. Now, in the second column, same idea. I start with the fact that it has to be continuous. So the new focus is going to be for x equal to 0. And again, um, because they gave you the number 6 at 0, you're looking at the continuity steps, which says the limit at a equals to f of a. So. I am taking the limit of the function as x is approaching to 0, and that has to be the same as f of 0. And again, if you look at the right, f of 0, that's going to be 6. And if you look at the left-hand side, the limit as x is approaching to 0 of a x squared plus b. And again, I'll put brackets around this. So now, you can plug in x to be 0. And when you collect like terms and you solve, uh, b is going to be 6. So you take that, you plug it back in. This implies that 2 equals to 4a plus 6. Again, the opposite of adding 6 is to subtract 6. 2 minus 6 is going to be negative 4 which equals to 4a. The opposite of multiplying by 4 is to divide by 4. This means a is going to be negative 1. So now you can say that therefore f of x is continuous for or if a is negative 1 and b equals to 6. I hope this makes sense.